These days, it seems like anyone can be an influencer, but it's not as easy as it looks. You've got to constantly be pushing out content to stay relevant, and it's especially difficult if you're doing it alone. But it seems like for mom influencers, they can easily get around this by featuring their family members in their content as well. Now, it's not the first time I've talked about TikTok moms using their children for views. But recently, it seems like for this one particular mom influencer, she somehow managed to piss off the entire internet over how she filmed the child while collecting her O-level results. And we're going to talk about it today. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I mean, you don't have to, but it would be a lot cooler if you did. So here's what the mom said in her video caption. You are more than your results. Congratulations to everyone for completing this major milestone. No matter the outcome, you've done your best and he has a plan for your life. So it starts out with the mom capturing a couple of scenes of her daughter getting ready to get her results and then the moment arrives. <laughs> Did you guys see her glance at the camera as if she's trying to get the best angle of a child getting the results? And it doesn't seem like it's gonna end well because she seems unhappy with the results. Oh my god, it's generally so bad. Oh my god, A for English, how do I do that? What do you mean your English is good one? No, it- I don't know how I feel about this because I think it's kind of strange to have just your mom following you around as you're trying to get through your results collection. Like imagine all of your friends just trying to get their own results and there you are with a personal camera person filming down your every move. I'm not sure about that. Listen to me, I know yes. that you are disappointed. Yes. And I was disappointed too. But the point now is that we need to set aside a time of reflection, okay, to reflect on the process. Why are they having this full-on conversation while they are like rushing down the stairs? It doesn't seem like the right time to be giving a child a civics and moral education lesson on the stairs. I don't know, maybe that's just me. We cannot change the outcome, but we can reflect on the process and better improve our processes okay, next time, okay. right? Don't be afraid because there will be a cause. God has a plan for you, okay? Hey, God works all things for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Yeah, this is getting uncomfortable to watch. Like, she's clearly in distress. She's already trying to hold back tears while being filmed at the same time and trying to process this ongoing lesson coming from her mom. It's just too much. And like Daddy said just now on the call, you are more than your results. Guys who just collected your O-level results, you, you are more than your results. Okay, this is insane because just a moment ago, she was giving her daughter a full-on pep talk lesson while on the move and now she's speaking straight to camera and just like totally ignore the child. It's insane. Alright, and in like 10 years time, no one will even remember what you got for O-levels anyway. O-levels, oh, my gosh! Stay tuned for what happens after all levels. Uh, okay. Stay tuned? Like, did you hear the daughter groaning at the end? I feel so bad for the girl. Like, she's clearly not feeling it, but she's still gotta be on camera like that. Yeah. Nah, that's not the vibe. Hey, you shouldn't say you're disappointed, eh. This really makes me think that this mom gave birth to her daughter just for her to make videos and use her for entertainment and clout. She's crying and her mom is just talking. Let her rest, okay? In 10 years time, nobody will remember O-level results. It's in the SingPass app itself forever. Ooh! So the mom decided to respond to the comment that said she was using her daughter just for entertainment and clout. Don't you just love a good hater who has no idea what you've gone through for the past 16 years to raise a teenager? No. Okay, it's giving you know my name, not my story energy. Sure, I guess. A w- pretty well-adjusted teenager. And there they go, saying as if they know what it means to be a mom. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to be a mom, but clearly it seems like your child in the back seat needs your attention, so maybe put your phone down. I don't know, just a suggestion. And as if replying to one hater wasn't enough, she went on to reply to a comment saying that she shouldn't have said she was disappointed. Oh my gosh, is that the source of all the hate? That is so ridiculous. I was not disappointed at her results. I was saying that I was also disappointed with my own results. Yeah, I'm not sure about that because plenty of people who watched the same clip also felt the same way thinking that the mom was also saying she was disappointed in her child. I mean, she also gave a valid explanation and clarified here in this clip, but to me, it does seem like she could have been clearer in what she was trying to get across in her point. But the fact that they were trying to have this entire conversation while running down the stairs probably wasn't the best idea in the first place. You were disappointed because you got 6 points? Oh, did she get 6 points? I didn't know that. That's pretty good, right? She's trying to save herself. We all knew what you meant, Lamao. I just got my results today. Please don't be disappointed in me and film me while I'm crying. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how she truly honestly feels about TikTok when you're not shoving a camera in her face. So clearly plenty of people weren't buying her explanation at all and things only spiraled out of control from here. 
There were plenty of people who started to react to the original clip and shared about how they felt it was kind of inappropriate for the mom to be filming her daughter like that. And there were plenty of valid points raised about how the mom could have probably found a better time after a child had either calmed down or stopped crying. But what really got me were all of these POV skits on TikTok poking fun at the mom and roasting her to a burnt crisp. Now sometime later, the mom decided to respond with a different approach this time round, and instead of replying to another hate comment, she decided to put the camera in front of her daughter again. Basically, the part where everyone is stitching is already like 20 minutes after I saw my L1R5, so like, I wasn't feeling that Bad anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what she means because it clearly looked like she was still crying in the video. And I mean, even if it was 20 minutes after seeing the results, any reasonable person would need some time to cool down. And so I don't know if she's trying to gaslight herself or it's because the camera is being put on her like that. But something isn't adding up. If you actually took the time to go and like into like the page, like our page, and like see the other videos, you would see that I am very happy in my life, yes, and I don't cry that often, so like she's not using me as crying bait, it's just like, because everyone was crying, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if her saying that she doesn't cry that often is the justification she thinks it is because it still implies that she's crying at home and probably in front of the camera like this. Yeah, I don't know what that video was trying to achieve because it kind of felt like a hostage situation. Not for her, for me. Behind the camera, smiling with a gun pointed to her face. Blink twice if you need help. She's looking around for the script. <laughs> Not the script. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this entire family vlogging thing because on one hand, I totally get that everyone in the family is somehow involved in being featured in the videos. But does everything need to be shown to the world? I don't know about that, because I kind of feel like those intimate moments where she was trying to console her daughter could perhaps be better handled off camera. I mean, sure, she's trying to teach a lesson and it's all fine and well, but when it's coming down to the ethics of putting someone in distress on camera like that, it's definitely a question that's up for discussion and debate. Now, the daughter did also mention that if we looked at other videos on their page, we would see that she's actually pretty happy in life. And I did, and this is what I found. Oh, that is very TikTok. Like, yeah, this is, this is the TikTok. No, this is the I exact. I'm going to sleep if you're going to make TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she would caption it like that and make it seem as if it's her daughter's fault. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Now, you would think that this would be an isolated incident and the mom doesn't actually feature children crying in her videos that often. And you'd be wrong. Back in July of 2022, there was another video going around of this same mom influencer trying to console her son on camera. And just as you might have guessed, he was also crying. What to do if you're being bullied? Firstly, you need to know that the voice of the bully is not important. The voice of your parents and of God is the most important because your parents are the ones who love you, right? The voice of the bully is a lying voice. I don't know what's so urgent for this mom to be recording everything while he's still in the middle of getting all these tears out of his system. Like maybe she could have waited till he's calmed down a bit. I don't know. He called you an idiot. He called you dumb. But mommy says that you are smart, you are loved, and you are amazing. You are not what the bully says. Okay, so she's trying to give him words of affirmation, but I don't really know how much of that is getting through when he's just crying and bawling his eyes out. And if the bully wants to say that to you again, you say, no weapon form against me shall prosper. I belong to Jesus. I have nothing against the message here. It would have been probably better handled if it were not done on camera like this because there's this entire layer of artifice that happens when you're trying to get through a genuine conversation and teaching your child a live lesson while filming it down. And I guess that's why some of these family vlog clips that this mom produces kind of gives people the ache. Isn't it a little off to record someone while they're breaking down, let alone make content out of it to put out on the internet? For real, I think quoting a Bible verse will make the bully laugh in his face lair. Life is not veggie tales, please. Veggie tales? Yeah, no. I really hope you will bring this up to his teacher and if the bully continues, please ask to meet the bully's parents and have a conversation with. I was thinking to call the school. Yeah, but she got distracted and decided to film a son crying. And just as you might have guessed, this video did not sit well with many people and the mom decided to reply to one of the comments by saying this in the caption. I guess we just aren't afraid to be real people. Before I trimmed and edited the video, I actually had Leon not crying sitting next to me and I said, Leon, I'm going to tell you what to say. Wait, so you're telling me she was coaching her son on what to say in front of the camera? Okay, got that. And he was absolutely not crying and he nodded at me and said yes. And I said, and you know what, let's put this on TikTok because other people who are bullied also need to know how to handle the same situation. So I guess she's trying to explain how she managed to get her son's consent to be in the video like that. But the question is, are people really looking to her for advice on how to deal with bullies? Not very sure. 
But somehow, when I started telling him those words of affirmation and saying to him, like, the words of the bully are a lie and you need to know that mommy and daddy love you, then he started crying. It probably meant that the entire experience was still pretty raw for him and then having to relive it in the conversation for the video was probably what triggered him to cry again. I had to cut off the front part of me recording it, saying that, oh, Leon is the one I'm going to tell you, blah, 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 right, that we started because it was actually not useful content. We agreed to shoot this video together to talk about this bully. I actually didn't expect him to cry. Yeah, it's kind of giving excuses that she's just rambling on and on to explain her thought process when nobody asked and she's just trying to cover her tracks in some way. I don't know, that's the vibe it's giving right now. Now, it should also be noted that not everyone was coming after this mom because there were people in the comments who were supportive of her. He cried because he felt validated from the bottom of his heart. TBH, I would think that his friend's gonna see this TikTok sooner or later and get laughed at in school. Ooh, I didn't even consider that possibility, but now that this person mentioned it... Now just like the first video with her daughter, there were still plenty of people dunking on this mom for how she handled the conversation with her son crying on camera. And again, she decided to reply with a video and she said this in a caption, Overcome evil with good. Why thank you so much for helping to push up the algorithm on my content. By commenting on my content, you are pushing more of it onto your own For You page and increasing engagement by probably about 30%. You are so important and I couldn't do without you. Thank you guys. I don't know what's up with all that sarcasm because she could have just taken her own advice and responded to those hate comments using the same method she taught her son. I mean, there were so many people on TikTok already using that method. You say no weapon form against me shall prosper. No weapon form against me shall prosper. No Western form <laughs> against me will prosper. Honestly, it's a miracle that this family isn't sick of each other yet. I want to know what you guys think about whether or not she should have filmed the children crying on camera like that. So let me know in the comments below. Don't leave me any hate comments because no weapons formed against me shall prosper. YOLO, say no now. YOLO, YOLO, you only live once.